Well, hello once again. This is Mike Van Dusen with the Keep On Growing Podcast, and I hope everyone's having a wonderful weekend to get started. Uh, we were having fun. Lots of stuff happened yesterday. We uh, dropped a video about the new nutrients, and Master Blend has like an all-in-one. They make it for uh, power grow systems, and with the Master Blend, we've been using that for years, but some people didn't like it because you had to get several different components three three different components and mix them together now with this new one they could just take it and put a couple of teaspoons into a gallon of water and they're all set so that's pretty cool um i knew that they didn't have a whole lot on hand on amazon i think i mentioned it in the video that there was only like 11 it was like five pound bags and i knew they'd run out pretty quick but there was a bunch of the one pound bags and so those, those ran out quick and and then uh, by the time I got up this morning, the one pound ones were out too, so they're, they're completely out, which is, you know, that, that's good news and bad news. Uh, the good news is that's, you know, a lot of people w interested in wanting to grow their own food. And, you know, the bad news is that, you know, lots of people wanted to try this because we've been going over this master blend thing for years and years and years. And I, I made a couple videos and I had a lot of people back when I first started uh, several years ago would always argue with me because uh, mixing them, you had to kind of keep them separated. If you put them together, you could get something called nutrient lockout, which uh, would prevent the plants from absorbing the nutrients. But I heard from somebody contacted Master Blend or something, and, and I've heard conflicting reports, and some people said that it was for larger quantities. These were made for like commercial growers, and for small little batches that we mix up, it's usually not that much of a problem. And nobody ever came up with like a percentage. They always just said, it might happen. You know, if you, you do this, it might happen. And from then, it's like everybody like freaked out. They're like, you have to do it this way. You have to do it this way. And I'm always the kind of guy when somebody tells me I have to, I do the opposite. It's just my nature. And, but to be honest, I just throw mine all together, fill it up with five gallons, and I've been doing that. And once in a great while, you know, I'll get one batch somewhere, might not do all right. And that might be the reason. It might not be. There might be something else going on. So overall, you guys have seen on my channel all, all that's going on, and, and that's how I mix mine. But, you know, other people, because all these people are out there, if you say anything about mixing nutrients on, they're all jumping on and saying, you have to do this, you have to do that. And when people here have to have to they get discouraged and they don't they just give up and and i hate that happening so i just you know want it to be nice and easy and simple and and with this new formula you're just taking a little bit it's like some of the other fertilizers that are out there and you you just mix a little in water and you're ready to go so that's like fantastic news because master blend is an excellent product you guys if you look on my channel you see all the stuff that i'm growing 99% of that is master blend and the only other 1% was when I tested out a little something different but I always went back to the master blend so this was great news anyhow so we dropped that video and people are responding and, and lots of people saying oh this is good I, I was apprehensive about starting but but now I'm gonna try this and while I'm watching this in you know it's really encouraging you're bringing new people on board new people are wanting to grow some of their own food and then we hear rain starting and that was expected we knew thunderstorms were coming in and we have a metal roof so we just hear shh you know it just starts and and i'm watching we're dropping you know i'm answering comments and that as they're coming in and next thing i hear stuff like stuff falling on the tin roof and we open the door and it's like a hailstorm and we haven't had a hailstorm i don't think i've i've been here uh, i think i'm going on five or six years We've never had a hailstorm here. Uh, we had several in different places that we've lived. It's not uncommon, Florida, Georgia, where, where me and my wife have lived. Uh, once in a while, we will have a little hailstorm, but where I'm at, I haven't had one yet. Uh, so five or six years, you know, and we keep planning, but it's kind of like karma, because if you guys have been listening and watching my channel for a while, uh, the one video when I was talking about like some of the problems we have and people get discouraged like really easy and, and give up and and i say you know the bad things are going to happen you know not everything goes right and just imagine years ago like pioneers and, and and people didn't have like 
stores on every corner you know we we get spoiled because we want 40 or 50 different varieties of everything right and if we don't we get upset and and then when we went through our little problem with lockdown and everything and and supply chain issues and all of a sudden like we weren't even down to one choice some of them we had no choice and then when they're trying to grow their own food and they hit a little bump in the road and something doesn't go right and, and they just get upset or they're frustrated i get some of these comments or or emails and, and people are really frustrated and i'm like you know imagine what people went through when they were growing their own food like back in the pioneer days and and it was a necessity it wasn't like a hobby or they're trying to supplement their their income or anything this is, was food for the family this was survival and i said imagine when bad things would happen like like locusts and next thing i have uh, a bunch of locusts hatched in the front yard and they're all over the garden right now and then i said imagine when uh, a hailstorm would come by and it destroy your crop and that was what you're going to feed your family with you know, and, and next thing we're sitting here and I'm all excited about this video and, and I'm talking to people about the new nutrients and that. And next thing we have a hailstorm and I'm just thinking all my stuff out back, you know, all the plants and everything are, are just getting hammered with this hail. So it, it's a little bit of karma, you know, just uh, Mother Nature putting you in your place. And uh, so this weekend we're going to be cleaning up out there, seeing what's going on, uh, you know, what we've got left. But... Uh, it doesn't bother me too much because like I said this is what we talk about the continuous harvest system and this isn't like back in the pioneer days uh, I'd like to look back and maybe maybe they did have some different ways of growing you know that when, once we started commercial farming we just kind of forgot like the old ways but if that was something you were depending on you know what if something like this did happen so the, the continuous harvest system where we have all these plants, not everything got hammered to death. We've, we've got plants at different stages. So it wasn't like we had an entire crop that was about to be harvested or just started out and everything's gone. We have microgreens, we have baby greens, we have mature plants, we have plants at all different stages. So now we can go through whatever got hammered and, and tore up, destroyed. We take those out indoors we started some more microgreens we've got baby greens keely's got a little setup uh in our washroom and she bought some grow lights and she's got some kale growing in there and basil we've got microgreens growing uh, i'll do a video on that coming up pretty soon we'll put it on the channel so y'all can see but uh, we've got plants at different stages and different places something like this does happen yeah it is bad we did have a whole lot growing and and uh, you know, a lot of the tomato plants got wrecked, and 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 downspouts were tipped over, and you know, but it's all part of nature. What are you gonna do, right? So, but the good thing is that we can clean up those containers, rinse them out, put some more nutrients back in it, and then take some of our tiny microgreens that we have and put them in, and within a couple of weeks we're gonna be back in business. So. It, that's what we love about the system and, and like I said it was so you know yesterday was fun we had a lot of stuff going on dropped a video we're talking to people we're having fun doing that getting excited you know all the new people are coming on and and then at the same time a hailstorm starts and starts taking out your garden right so it's kind of like melancholy boy they call it a bittersweet kind of thing going on but it's all just part of nature right and and this is just all part of life so uh, i want you guys to have a fantastic weekend that's what we're going to be doing today tomorrow is kind of cleaning up seeing what we we've got assessing the situation uh cleaning up containers that got destroyed and putting some more plants out there getting keely some more kale growing i know some of you all out there aren't into the leafy greens and that but that's what we eat the most of so we're going to be growing a lot of it and and uh the garden out there is not one that we're doing just for show for videos it's what we actually eat off of so if you see a lot of kale or pak choy in that that's because we're eating a lot of it and if you don't see a lot of other things it's because we don't so um i i can do some little experiments on some some things but for the most part what you see uh right now there's some kale it looks like you know it, it's half destroyed but it's actually keely went through and harvested half of it so it's an actual working kind of little garden farm thing going on. And uh, we just enjoy it and I enjoy sharing it with all of you. 
So I'm going to let you all go. You guys have a fantastic weekend. Stay safe, all of you up north with all of the smoke. Um, everybody else with the wild weather and everything, uh, take care. And wherever you are in the world, lift, inspire, keep on growing, be the change. We'll catch you next time.